Hi guys, welcome. The question on GitHub about Articlinux B XFC resulted in me building Articlinux B XFCE. And yes, um, let's install it. Let's make a video about it. And while we're doing that, let's also compare what is the difference between XS, XL, and B XFCE, right? So these things. Now, first is just an other video to how to install Arclinx B XFCE. The drill is exactly the same as all the others, right? Open source, it's clear, it's non-proprietary software, so it's not NVIDIA software. If you have an NVIDIA card, a newer card, these two lines will support it. Sometimes the, the laptop or the machine doesn't care very much for the nouveau driver so you need to have this one or in open source equally it can tell well it can boot on a black screen or something strange right then it's probably not liking the nouveau driver so it's either this one or this one with or without nouveau if everything fails these four lines fail then it's for you safe graphics so no mode set is the technical term for it and then you figure out later on okay i need this or that nvidia 340 so older drivers because you have an older machine so in um, vmware in uh, virtualbox and all that it's the first line that will do the trick virtualbox is our default um, virtual machine so we test it all the time in virtualbox that should work So installing Arclinux ISOs, it's always the same thing, right? You have an older machine, you boot up in BIOS, it's a colorful logo, that's an old machine. It's like this one in this video, it's a black thing, it's UFI, it's a newer motherboard, it knows UFI, and you install it with one of the five lines to boot up, right? Then, either you say I'm gonna update Archlinx mirrors, but the mirrors we've put up at the top are actually the best already. So you can do it without it, so end mirror list, and can have a look. So these are one of the best servers, Osback, Rackspace, and, the, and Mirror Package Build. These are great servers. The others are not used, they have a hashtag in front of it. So either you keep everything as is, or you start by updating the Archlinx, not article arch linux mirrors maybe you want to clean everything up because you have uh, 15 partitions on there and you say wow everything gone otherwise calamaris will may choke on all these partitions and then uh, you just clean everything out this is the way hundreds of linux partitions uh, sorry distributions give you choices welcome set the language location keyboard partitions user and then actually it's done already because then you get the summary and then you install and then finish this is the easy way out the way that it will always work also offline here you have lots of choices you need a lot of knowledge and a lot of things can go wrong because mixing is fun but it needs knowledge and you'll see that some things won't work and so on and so on right this is more notch what you see is what you get that is always a rule when we start installing it's a bit and a byte and a bit and a byte that's going to your next system and which things are going to your system super shift enter this exactly this will be put to your system and how does it look well what you see is what you get Firefox will be there and so on and so on. All these things will be there. Now the XS and the B, as you see, are super minimal. There is just the browser. There is nothing multimedia. There is no office. There is no graphics besides, yeah, it's XFC, right? And that's it. And a few things that are from us like the Arch Linux tweak tool. Okay. So super, super minimal XS and B XFCE or B awesome or B I don't know all the B's are minimal so you need to decide get me the Linux kernel from Zenmod or the LTS etc and you keep on making decisions this is already installed right this is there 
you can actually test this. If you want, you can test this. Now, first of all, I'll need to tell him that I'm on Belgian keyboard. Pseudo Pacman minus SY, you get the updates in. And this means that the service, the, um, what's it called again? Pac Pacman in the service is not yet ready, right? He did not fulfill the, the key assignment. So the Pacman key initial initialization, wow. So that's, that's too bad. So we can't really show um, what I wanted to show. I can probably still do minus S. Let's try to remove it, XF. 86 so these guys are already on the machine and they will be coming on the future machine the idea is only if this iso is like a year old in a year's time they probably will have released a new driver so if you select it it will be grabbed from the internet and you'll have the latest driver when you boot up as the gem is there right it is there, installed by default, but not all themes are installed. But it's a template for freedom, this, right? A template for freedom. If you want i3 on your XFCE, it's going to be there. But you don't need to select anything besides maybe some software that you say, oh yeah, I'm always using Teams here or a Telegram desktop, etc., etc. This is just your choices of browsers of themes of graphics of games terminals file manager usb stuff here maybe if you want to go for butterfs you either choose this one but don't forget to set also then later on here this is brussels that's okay so belgian is my choice of keyboard check out up here test up down here next and don't forget to put here ButterFS. And then one of those choices, choose. Next. And while it's installing, next install, install. Voila. He's installing. And let's have a look at the, where it's gonna come is here, right? Articlex B, build your own Articlex B XFCE. We gave you, all the codes, all the technical knowledge to build your own ISOs, any of them, any desktop. The only thing you need to do is edit a file and say, I want to have Vivaldi and I don't want to have Firefox and so on. And then you build it. And the video I'm making is going down here, how to install Arclux B. But we said, these are the scripts we're running all our repos to check if there's uh, new things to share new th new packages to build so this is the Arclix XL this is the XS think about clothing extra large extra small so this is a small one and this is a bare one that's the D so XS X sorry XL and XS if you compare it you need to only compare one thing let's see what we're comparing okay that's good. The packages. So in the XS, you don't have calculator. You don't have GUVC view. You don't have melt. You don't have Praga, Qubit Torrent, Simple Screen Recorder, VLC. All the blue things have a hashtag in the front to the right. So it's not installed. So we took a look at the long list of all these things and said we don't install this we don't install that now that's the comparison between XL and XS you can do exactly the same thing compare between Arclix B and then XFCE it's all online it's all shared it's all transparent we do that and that's for your convenience okay so let's check what we've done more so this one to the right, watch out, Eric. Arclix B, yes, correct. So to the left is the B XFCE, we can check again. 
the ArcLinux B Arco XFC Arch ISO packages, right? So the B XFC to the left. We've decided to put awesome terminal fonts in here. Also ASCII NEMA HTOP is in here and it's not an XS. So the XS is more bare. Sorry, the yes, the XS is more bare than the B, correct. So here, no HTOP in the B, yes, HTOP and so on. So it's always about choices and that's why we say guys, you make your own cho choices and you build the ISO. This is okay, this Calamaris. And here we're going to say, let's use the official packages, ArchWiki XFC4. Have a look, you'll find these two names on the XS. On the XFC, we have made choices package per package. We say we don't want this. We want all these plugins. It's the same here. We have also the plugins, but here we split the package, as which this is a group package, a list of files, list of packages. This is the summary of the list of packages. And here again, really cherry pick. I want this, don't want that. Like Orage will not be installed. Parole will not be installed. And here to the right, it will, because it's not saying don't install it. It's saying the whole group can come in. And in here to the B XFC, we say we don't want to have these wallpapers from XFCE. We don't want to have XF burn. We don't want to have Parole, Orange, Mousepad. We're going for Sublime Text, for example. Okay, so decision time is always the same. And that's why we always say, guys, build it yourself. Make your own decisions. It's the Arclinx B. You know what to do. It's watching a video and then you can build your own ISO, your own B xfce and put on there whatever you want and voila be happy be free that's the important thing in linux be free in the meantime voila control f let's reboot and now we have a video how to install article xp xfce the more of these videos you see the more yeah text and, and, and explanations you get and the more you you get what's going on and and, and and over a period of some years you'll realize that suddenly you have a working efficient fast operating system for free and you set it you know, you 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 control it you save your dot files you make it your own so here you have it Arclex B XFCE it's installed you type ISO and you know, this is the version, well, which is February, the release for February. You can have it today. We can have it today. It's just building. You don't have to download anything. You build it. And then you have this numbering system, which doesn't mean a thing. It just says, okay, a file somewhere. Did I enter? No, I did not. <laughs> so everything is up to date. Everything is working. And you've got yourself an X. FCE from the B version. What does it include? So what you see is what you get. I can't say it enough. It's simple, but it's um, sometimes people forget, right? So graphics, there is no GIMP, there is no Inkscape, there is no Vivaldi, there is no Chrome or Chromium, and there is no VLC or MPV, etc. There is no Office, there is no WPS Office. There is so many things are not here, but some basic stuff is here, like a ButterFS assistant. Remember, we chose butter fs and duff we're on a butter fs system it says so butter fs butter fs butter fs et voila this is your installation cheers